I've played World of Warcraft for over 15 years, but lately it just doesn't feel like the MMORPG experience I fell in love with all those years ago. So now I'm giving Final Fantasy XIV a try for the first time and documenting my process as I play through the game. Today is day one and here are my Final Fantasy XIV first impressions. First thing that shocked me was it's very story heavy and today is day three to the gold saucer. And wow, this place is fun. Today is day five. Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward, part one. Literally like the first or second quest, it had me. Every time I logged in, I was thinking, I need to go do some more MSQ. And there it was. Lalafell Marty was willed into existence. Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward, part three. One of the most touching moments in the MSQ so far. It's episode one of the Stormblood series. And it's about the people, the people that are at war, the politics of, you know, a, a nation that's struggling. So yeah, welcome everybody. My name is Medieval Marty and I am no longer a sprout. Shadowbringers, part one. Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers, part three. The most epic ending that we could ever have imagined. And with that little trip down memory lane, I guess that brings us to today. Welcome everybody. The Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, part one. And first things first, I think I've got to mention this early. Spoiler warning for Endwalker. MSQ. This this video will contain the MSQ from the start, the very first quest, up to the very first dungeon of Endwalker, which I believe is level 81. So it's, it's, it's fairly early and it doesn't go any further than the ending cutscene of that dungeon. So if you're up to there, this video should be good for you. If not, maybe come watch this one when you've caught up. So with that out of the way, let's get straight in to the, uh, the, the Endwalker series. Let's go. Now, I'm no stranger to a Fantasia. I've, I've, been, I've been a Catboy, I've been a Lalafell, I've been a Big Aura Man. Um, I've tried a few things and everything I've been to, I've kind of had fun as. But ever since the Viera males got announced, I have been so intrigued. I've made this character, uh, I made a, a bunny boy in the benchmark about three times and I keep going back and, and changing it and I've been looking forward to making one for so long. It kind of feels like an evolution of the Catboy. He's still got the big ears, but they're bigger. He's got hair, but it's longer, um, and he's a bit taller. And uh, I, I'll be honest, I, I like the Bunny Boys a lot more than I thought I would. I Yeah, I, I've always kind of made fairly feminine characters, long hair, um, feminine features. I've never made a manly, big, burly guy. So, I mean, I think it was inevitable that I'd make a Bunny Boy when they came out. And I really like the one I've made. I'm really happy with it. And I think, I, I don't want to say it's permanent, um, but I don't know if it's temporary. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Is this a good choice? Have I made a good choice or uh, am, are you not a fan? Let me know. Let me know. And then it's time for something that I haven't done for a while, a few weeks. Uh, agreeably much, much shorter period than a lot of you have been waiting, but it was time to get back to the MSQ. Glam sorted. Uh, Fantasia drank, it was time, and I, they they get you hyped instantly. I mean, within an hour of the MSQ, you're on a boat to Charlian, and you meet oh, the Lady of Light herself. This was this was nuts. This was uh, yeah, this was kind of surreal. It it definitely didn't feel like something that was going to happen within the first hour of the game. Um, it was definitely interesting to hear how like why you hadn't heard from her in a while and about how the, the balance as I think it was as, as Zodiac grows stronger, she grows weaker. Um, really, really interesting because it did kind of feel they just forgot about her at times. Um, it's like all through Stormblood, you didn't hear from her and then not much through Shadowbringers. So yeah, it was good to have answers and to, to, to come in person. Feel yeah, thing. that hit hard. That, that was kind of like I say, surreal. It felt like a dream. That the first, this first part felt like a dream. And it was time to go to Charlian. And I've never been to an expansion on launch. Uh, I pushed Shadowbringers quite hard because I wanted to be here with everyone else when we when we go there together. And this was crazy. I've never seen so many people crowd around the quest objectives. Normally it's just me, <laughs> so I didn't. Yeah, because I've been doing like such old content. I it it felt kind of special being here with everyone else. I I really. I really did like it. I'm glad that I pushed the last expansion a little faster so that I could be here with everyone else because it was it was really cool. And I think everyone was just so happy and so excited. It was it was I don't know, it was so easy just to like go up and chat to people and, and have fun and 
I don't know. The energy was just really good, and everyone had good vibes. It was it was fun. I I I was I'm really happy to be here on on launch with everyone else. And then I got to talk about this system. The follower system is incredible. It's incredible. Um, I think after Shadowbringers, I'm sure I'm not alone in feeling overly attached to the characters because I think Shadowbringers brought everyone so much closer, like the Scions so much closer together that you feel really attached. And I'm not one for talking to them at the end of, like outside of the MSQ. I know a lot of people talk to them in between cutscenes, but I don't normally. After Shadowbringers, this is really nice just to get extra lore and extra character depth from your party as they follow you around is is just so nice and it's something that i don't think uh, i was i was not expecting it uh, at all i mean it, it has its problems i've found a few bugs where they go missing or they get stuck in a in a staircase or in the water i've seen a few issues with it but i'll take the issues to have the system yeah, they can have time to fix it because there's there's ways around it when it goes wrong and it's so worth it to have this in the game i really really like this what, what are your thoughts are you a fan or do you think it's a bit tacked on i I'm all for it. The more time, the merrier with the with the fellow scions, I think. And then the first thing I did when I got here was went to the highest thing I could find, went into G-Pose and turned Bright 4 on just to see this place in all its color. Uh, Charlian's beautiful. Charlian is stunning. From the trailer with the with the big white and the, the waterfalls, it looked really nice, but I didn't think it would live up to it in game as well as it did in the trailer, but I was wrong. It does, it's stunning. This is stunning. I, mean, I think, as with many people, I'm gonna spend a lot of time just, just chilling here, taking screenshots and looking around. Another thing that's really good is, it's nice to see Kryle get some more screen time. Ever since coming in to the game, I feel like she's been kind of overlooked. There was, there was the thing in Stormblood where she had her powers taken a little, but the, I never felt like she got enough time. She, she never developed enough for me. So it was so nice to see her kind of lead this journey into Charlian and have that authoritative figure going in and her background came in and I just thought it was really nice to finally see her get a bit more time in the spotlight and a bit more time as a leader, as a, as a, as a scion really, it was good. And then the quest splits into kind of like how we did in Shadowbringers and you had to either go do the forum stuff or you had to go to this new area with the Aetherite um, and you get to go to Thanvir and... My first impressions of this place were pretty low. I was like, ah, not for me, a bit too colorful, um, a little cheesy. I didn't really like it, but the longer I've spent here, I gotta say, I love it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I, don't, I don't really like the look of the area, uh, but I really like the characters. I really like the people and the story they tell here towards that first dungeon is really damn good. It's really good. So yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an omission here. I'm gonna make a make. I gotta put my hands up in the air. I did this mission for Mat 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 Matsya Mat Ya Mat Mat Saya, uh, where he follows you around and you gotta teach him how to sell fish. Uh, I sold no fish. I sold zero fish. I failed every single speech objective, and sold no fish. Um, I don't know if it's scripted that you always have to lose. Like I don't know if it's I don't know if it's scripted that you. That you that you also can't sell fish for him, um, or I'm just a complete idiot because uh, I, I, maybe I've just got no tact and I'm a terrible salesman because I could sell no fish. Every single thing was a fail. So yeah, we're we're collectively very bad at selling fish. And as someone who likes fishing, that's not a good trait to have. <laughs> but let me know in the comments: Is this achievable? Can you actually pass any of these speech checks? <laughs> Please tell me that it's scripted to lose. I'm addicted to gpos. And then I got attacked by a herd of elephants, which was scary and fun, but also scary. I don't know if it's the bunny or the endwalker zones, but I just can't stop taking screenshots and gpos in and it's, it's becoming a bit of a problem. Send help. And there's two reasons why I love Thanvir. One of them is this character. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly attached to this character. It's been one day and I already, I already think they're an amazing character. I don't know if it's because they're so nice and wholesome and helpful or if it's, if it's just the voice actor, I don't know, but I think it's an amazing character, and it's it's like the first, the first I, I can't remember the name of the race, the the elephant style um, that inhabit this area. I can't remember what they're called, but I think this is the first one that you you truly get to meet. Um, so it, so it, it it hits harder maybe, but yeah, this was this was so so sad, and of course, where there's sadness, and where there's a uh, where there's sorrow, there's an Asian. 
and uh, our leading Asian for Endwalker is Mr. Fan Daniel himself. I never was expecting this reveal. When I when I was, I think at the end of Shadowbringers and when I did my like Endwalker predictions video, I I thought I was a little worried that now that the the unsundered Asians were gone, that the the sundered ones would never be as strong, and they were just going to be like partially as strong as the, the the big boys. But I never made the connection that they they could have been important people from history like Amon, Amon, Amon. Boy, I'm I'm glad they made Crystal Tower uh, mandatory because. Yeah, there's so much that leads back to it. I, 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 I don't know. Did anyone predict this? I definitely did not predict this. I thought this was crazy. Um, maybe they've hinted this or maybe they've even said this somewhere in the story. And I'm just oblivious. But yeah, I wasn't expecting it to go back to, to Alagon and then, and then this guy. This was this is really cool. So it it shows that he's not just some crazy theatre kid, Asian. He's a powerful, old important person that is a real danger it definitely added a level of danger to him he's he's, he's smart cunning tactful um and there's more to him than than we originally thought second reason i love van Ver is is uh you've got the oh man this oh i forgot this this popped at the worst time <laughs> enjoy the ticking <laughs> the, the the dragon reveal uh, uh, this was this was so cool. I love how they're always mixing Heavensward, Stormblood, um, Shadowbringers into the current story. They've done it all the way along, and I think it's so good that they just keep linking. You know, you've got Estinian's story from Heavensward still carrying on here with with another big dragon. Uh, uh, amazing, and then that they're using the eye to talk through as the kid is just. I completely blew my mind. I don't know how. It's like MSQ level 80 still here. And they've dropped so many bangers. They've dropped so many big lore drops, big moments, big twists and reveals. That, hey, I was one of these people that said, they're not going to top Shadowbringers. But if they're, dro if they're leading out the gates at level 80 like this, I'm out. where are we going from here, man? What, what's going to happen? Crazy. Jeepos. Another one. Then we became a frog uh, for, for reasons to get to go. You know, who, who needs who needs Thancred, leader and king of espionage when you can just become a frog? Yeah. But, uh, uh, so, yeah, um, Than Thanvir done. It was time to do the other side, which was all about the forum and learning more about their their trickery and their secrets, which was definitely not as high intense as Thanvir, but the story still held up. And it's nice to see like the new race, like the bunny boys in the game. I feel like this is what you all saw when you got introduced to Auras for the first time. Because for me, there's always been Auras, right? But when you first met Auras, I guess it was like this, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. But yeah, I think it's really cool to see, um, to see them in the game now. Also, can I give you a pro tip that I wish somebody would have told me? If you're new and this is your first uh, expansion and you've always had in your key items, the ether compass. And you, that's how you find your, your things. That They took that out. That's gone. So I removed it from my hotbar thinking, hey, no more ether currents. We just, what, we just fly at 90 maybe? Nope. Nope. <laughs> so you go into collections and it's in there. I don't know if it used to be in there and they've, they've put it back or this is a new thing, but don't be an idiot like me and remember to use it. <laughs> so this whole forum side, side I, I thought it was cool. I thought like you, you go to the... Uh, the underground uh, uh, repository of information and samples and the, the gleaners. I thought all that stuff was really cool. I feel like we've only just, I don't know. I feel like we've only been here for like a minute. I feel like we just touched this area and moved on. Uh, it feels like, honestly, I've not been here at all. So I want to see more of it. But I think it's really interesting. But I, I do feel like we've just been briefly been here. And I just want to come back and see more and get more lore. If it, I'm going to get my, my idiot prediction out of the way early. I think because they're collecting so many samples, the forum people, um, the Charlie and forum, I think they're planning to go underground. I think that's my, that's my dumb prediction. I think they're planning to just go fallout mode, just collect all the samples, all the food. Cause they're carrying, they're bringing in so much stuff. I think they're planning to just close off from the world and just try and live out the end of days and just survive. Um, they know the world's going to end. And they just want to survive it. I don't know how. Maybe they're going to go underground. Maybe they're going to use magic. 
Maybe they're going to do time messery. But that's my that's my uh, uneducated opinion right here. There's something up with them. And I think that's what it is. But who knows? <laughs> it's probably much more deep than that. <laughs> and then, I don't know why, but I found this mega emotional. I don't know why, but this, I got really, I, I found this really quite touching. Uh, I, I think like Alfie is, is one of the, one of the, well, he's one of my favorite characters and he's been there since the very start. I, I, I was a, I was a big fan right from ARR. I thought he was, he was just so good, but he's had so much hardships like with the Crystal Braves and then his sister's kind of taken the spotlight for a while and he's, he's not great. He's, his character's developed, but he's not really got stronger. Um, Personally, he like like uh, as a character he has, but in combat wise, he's not had that that punch that you've seen from Alfie. Like that um, that delivery of combat that she's had, he's he's always took kind of a backseat to her. So to see him get his 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 father's uh, I don't know what they're called sage things was just so good. It's so good to see. I like I say, massive massive Alfie fan. So this. I don't know why, really caught me off guard and uh, yeah, got me a little emotional, a little bit. Um, he's looking pretty cool, he's looking fresh, he's looking ready for the new expansion. Um, yeah, making him a sage is, is genius. The only person other to Alfie who I would have maybe made the sage for this expansion would have been Kryle because I thought it would have fit well with her background and you know, we don't really have many combat uh, Lalafels after Papelmo, RIP. Uh, so yeah, I think a great choice, great choice. Okay, so the scene is set. We've we've done background lore on the two areas. We've introduced all the characters. We've made the new class for the expansion. We've got the new city, and we've we've got the villain. He's taken the princess and hid her in the castle. So everything's set up for the first dungeon. And I thought this was a great great way to start the dungeon. Uh, I, it, it probably sounds overly positive. So if you're new around here, if this is the first one of my videos you've watched. Don't think that this is a, I, I'm just some some guy, some shill who, who just calls everything amazing. I'll, I'm the first to call it out if there's something I don't like or if there's a problem or, uh, yeah, I, th there's been certain expansions and certain things that I've not enjoyed about the game and I, I've, I've criticized them pretty hard. So yeah, w when I say Endwalker so far has exceeded all my expectations and I've enjoyed everything, I, I mean it. That there's, there's, I can't fault it so far. My only flaw so far has been Thanvir was a little weak when you first arrive, but it quickly and within like 30 minutes exceeded that that level and I've grown to appreciate it now. So let's do the dungeon. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, my item level wasn't high enough. <sighs> okay, so I got some upgrades. The Tower of Zart. Let's go. First dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. It, it it was good. It was it was it was good. It was, uh, it was hard, wasn't it? It was it was really hard, wasn't it? Uh, please tell me you struggled on this. It was so hard. <laughs> um, like like some some genius, I thought it'd be smart to play through as a as a tank. But, uh, this is the first time I've ever played through the MSQ as a tank. I'm not a great tank, but I really like the paladin, and I want to get better at the paladin. And I, I, now's a good a time as any, right? So. I thought, you know, let's go in here blind and, and tank it. What's the worst that can happen? Well, you'll see. You, you'll see, because it does. <laughs> One really eerie thing that you might have missed is when you get to this area here at the very start, if you look to your right, um, you'll see it just near my map. That's uh, Nidana. That's that's her in the purple, with a purple outfit. I'm pretty sure, because everyone else doesn't have, doesn't have like the colorful, colorful outfit on. So I'm pretty sure that was her. Uh, I, I, let me know if I'm wrong, but I thought it was a pretty for a unique detail. Let's just get something out in the open. Uh, this boss, Let, come on, right. We don't need to put on a show. We don't need to, to, to act uh, act all, all manly. Let's be honest, let your guard down. How hard was this boss? Did he slap you around like he slapped me around? He humbled me. I went in here feeling like the warrior of light and darkness, the the savior of the savior of Eorzea, and uh, he made me look like a punk. <laughs> He slapped me around. Um, which, this is my first time being on expansion launch. Uh, normally I go in like sometimes minimum level, but generally we breeze the dungeons. I rarely wipe, but I went in here full of confidence and he wiped the floor with me. Uh, we, we wiped on this boss. It was so hard. So I don't know if that's a, an early expansion release thing that they're harder on release or because of gear or 
this boss was genuinely quite hard or if, uh, if 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 I just didn't do very well because yeah let me know was this a hard dungeon for me for you was this a hard boss so on the second run they said hey hey you know what uh, I've done this before what you got to do is you got to kill the ads so they targeted it they marked it and was like yeah let's kill the ads first uh, the ads don't die so here's the ad at 0.1% uh, not dying so so that didn't work <laughs> But then eventually we, we did kill the athlete. You can see the second one going down here. So then we moved on to the final final boss and kind of wrapped it up. And uh, yeah, everything everything finally went smooth. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> they revived them. What? <laughs> so yeah, we just we just burnt down the main boss and uh, used all our cooldowns, all our defensives, and all the heals and everything. And yeah, we, we yeah we just brute force our way through it, but. This, this was hard. There was a lot going on. There was a lot going on here for a first dungeon boss. Um, definitely, definitely humbled me. Estinian's too strong, man. Est Estinian's a primal. This this guy, I am in awe at everything he does. I look up to him like a hero. He's, yo, he's the, he's the main character in this game, isn't he? Such a cool moment. And then before you call me out on my GPO's addiction, I managed to get the, the sword and shield drop from the first dungeon. And I thought it looked so cool. So I've just got the uh, the sword and shield from that dungeon. And then the, I think it's just the quest reward for like the first MSQ quest. And I'm, I'm impressed already at how cool stuff looks. I think it looks, uh, I think it looks really good. Um, I, I, I'd be curious what the other stuff looks like. I want to see what like the Dragoon Lance looks like. And maybe like the Summoner stuff. Curious how they look with the, it gives me like Ravana vibes uh, with like the purple. I think it's a really cool looking gear for the first dungeon. Maybe it's like reskins or maybe it's been used before. Or unique. I really don't know enough about the game to know, but I thought this was this was awesome. I feel like this is a good natural stopping point for part one of the series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've 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 really enjoyed making it. I like I say, uh, Stormblood and Shadowbringers were went a very fast, and it was a bit of a rush to get here. So obviously the series were very compact. Now that we're in Endwalker, I feel I can slow it down more, take it all in, debrief it more, and hopefully that comes across in these videos. They they should be more. I don't know, uh, peaceful, <laughs> is that the right word? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I feel like now's a good time to wrap up. I'm very, very aware of spoilers, so I'm gonna make sure going forward I do the same as this. I, I make it clear where the video starts and where the video ends so that no one is uh, no one is caught off guard and you accidentally see something you haven't found yourself because I know you're still going through it yourself. Uh, I mean, some people have finished, uh, which is crazy. Some people have actually finished the MSQ already, but I know most people are still are still going through the story so i'm going to make sure you're either just a bit ahead of me or you're you're following along with me and i don't spoil anything for you so i'll, I'll put it in the, the thumbnails or the the titles of the of episode two so you know where we get up to but this one i'm probably gonna wrap up here take care everyone i hope you're enjoying the game as much as i am i hope you're getting as, as drawn in and invested as i am because I, I love it so far and i really hope i hope the cues aren't ruining your 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 first few days because i know i've got some friends who are really struggling in queues and with error messages but uh, I, I hope it's not too bad and i hope it gets better if it is so thank you everyone take care and i will catch you in the next one